mud up and down the leg, cuts everywhere. On today's adventure, we walk from Oakton to Reston via nine miles of the semi-secret Cross County Trail. Getting a little bit creeped out, bro. The rainstorm is coming. Ah! Uh, I think that's a T-Rex footprint. Today's adventure might be one of the craziest ones. I'm going to walk from right here in Oakton through the forests, through all sorts of crazy trails and roads. And my final destination is we're going to Trivia Night. So what's so crazy about that? Well, Trivia Night is 12 miles away in Reston, Virginia. And basically the start of our hike is here at Oakmar Rec Center. Just a few hundred yards down the road is the entrance to the Cross County Trail. This thing's crazy and it goes through all of Fairfax County. The Cross County Trail is a 40 mile trail going from Occoquan all the way to Great Falls. Today we're taking a nine mile segment from Oakton to Reston. I am actually super excited. I've wanted to do this forever. A few notes about this trip. I woke up like two hours ago, decided to do this about 15 minutes ago. I have not eaten all day. We did not wear hiking shoes. I do have three water bottles. The first part of the journey takes us through the woods and around the Oakmar Golf Course. And then be careful here when the fence ends because there's a lot of flying balls. The trail is marked with these poles, but it can still be super confusing and hard to follow. And then just what I was afraid of, I've come to this point here, and there's no marker. There is a marker right here, but it was like leaning against there, hidden behind this tree. This is the sign that scares me the most. The guys with their giant bows and arrows, and their mission is to like kill the deer. And I guess you just gotta hope they're professionals, and you gotta stay on the trail but that still scares me. Look around, it's hard to believe that we're right here in the center of Fairfax County. I can hear the wildlife then, all of a sudden out of nowhere, you'll hear a lawnmower. So it's like being tucked away without being actually tucked away at all. And if you hear that, they got chickens and roosters over here. There isn't a lot of empty space, so many parts of the trail you're actually walking just beyond neighborhoods and people's backyards. Couple miles in, a road, the highlight of a nature trail, crosswalk in the middle, and cars driving by. Segment of the trail is interesting as we walk through a residential, friendly little neighborhood here. The trail actually technically goes that way, but there's a second trail following the creek. This is why we took the detour. Now we're following an even bigger stream along the edge. This side trail is much smaller and much more overgrown, but it follows a long, difficult run for a much cooler view. This one's a little narrower. Oh yeah, totally worth it to come down on this other end of the trail here. I'm like afraid of this hole here. I'm getting a little bit creeped out. Greenery and Shrubs are like caving in on me on this trail. I've got GPS with the All Trails app. They're not a sponsor. They should be a sponsor. Um, but I can see that I'm actually following the correct trail right on my phone. While not an official part of the Cross County Trail, this might have been my favorite segment of the journey. It actually felt like we were out in the backwoods taking a real hike. Bridge with the metal railing, pretty cool. I almost freaking fell on my back. It gets so muddy down here at the end that people have put down logs across to create kind of like a little bit of a boardwalk. And now we're back on the official trail. And wow, is it luxurious. Before we head on, we gotta check for ticks because that path was just like grass hitting me all over. Look at this mud up and down the leg. Cuts everywhere. Bites of things. But you know what? No ticks. Let's keep it rolling, baby. The luxury continues. Now we've got cement. We have a little friend on the trail. 
This deer is literally just walking straight down the trail, just following the trail like me. And uh, remember those signs I showed you earlier about the hunters coming to get the deer? Well, that's not a good sign for me. Another cool bridge down here, cutting across the stream. Uh-oh, a fork in the road. Oh Lord, this does not look promising. Bro, the rainstorm is coming. I'm getting drizzled on. The wind, it sounds like a freaking tornado from getting closer and closer and closer. You know what, if it's just gonna be rain like this, it feels so good. Oh, it's coming down now. We're pretty protected by the tree canopy, but we're in a full-fledged rainstorm right here, baby. Ah! And of course, right as soon as the rain starts to fall, the trail comes out of the forest. It's coming down so hard. Ah! Oh no. The next part of the trail after we cross the road yet again goes past this farm. The torrential downpour only lasted about 10 minutes but it did some major damage to the trail and to my comfort. Oh my gosh. The rain wasn't that bad and it felt really good. It has completely changed the aspect of this trail. At certain parts of the trail, the trail itself has become the creek with little waterfalls, getting all that excess water down to the real creek. And then we come out of the mud and rain to this big open part of the creek and it feels like we're right in the Amazon rainforest. Even like bamboo across the way, dude. Where are we? I think that's a T-Rex footprint. Uh, you can see just how the rain completely devastated this trail. How am I gonna get around this? Ew, ah, ah, so gross. And just like that, we went from hot and humid to nice, cool, relaxing rain to a freezing cold torrential downpour, to walking through mud, to the sun coming right back out and making it even more hot and more humid than it was when we started. Now this is quite the adventure. I'd like to applaud myself for choosing to wear the sandals instead of my hiking shoes, which would have been completely ruined. This tree got lightning or something. And then this is great to see on any trail. With the sun back out, the hike became a lot more fun again. About an hour ago, this was probably a pretty shallow and easy crossing. But now the creek is like filled with this muddy rainwater and we're gonna have to skip across some of these covered rocks here. Last thing I want to do is fall into this water. Oh, oh, that bike guy has quite the surprise ahead of him. Torn bush ripped off my hat. Now for the fancy resting people. A trail that is paved better than our streets. We have made it to Reston, and here it is. Beautiful Lake Autobahn, where there's no speed limit, and we just walked from Oakton to Reston. Just over nine miles in about three hours, through the woods of Oakton, into a storm, across all the treacherous terrain, and out into the sunshine and the lakes of Reston, just in time to take home the trivia win. The Amoebas with 54 points!
official stats, 9.17 miles. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Three hours and 15 minutes. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you. you. Crazy from my house slash Oakmar all the way to South Lake Shopping Center. <laughs> The rest of the hike I was going to do is just sidewalks. So we're already late for trivia. We're gonna shorten the rest of the way there. 